welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello my dear students, welcome to Business Studies Online Classes. Today I am going to start the new chapter that is Directing. This is a fourth function of management and already we discussed other functions of management that is planning, organizing, staffing and then comes what? Directing. In your organization, after your plans have been formulated and based on that you develop the organization structure and based on that you recruited and selected highly qualified people. But all these functions are just thinking function, just thinking function where this directing function is completely action oriented, where other functions of management setting uh, setting for the action but this function initiate action in the organization uh, see in your organization you have creatively planned some project and for, based on that you developed the organization structure and you recruited highly you selected highly qualified people but till that time the function of directing is not performed well then the entire function of management will not get a success will not get a success. So, directing is very very important function in the context of management because it is some total of all managerial efforts. It is some total of what all managerial efforts which takes the organization towards the achievement of organizational goal. Okay, see uh, uh, till the uh, till the time if the manager is not giving the instruction, other other levels of management will not start. After giving the instruction by the superior, then only other subordinates will start their work. Start their work. It means what? Giving the guidelines or the proper instruction is very important for each and every individual. As a subordinate, I need some proper motivation. I need some proper guidelines to achieve my work targets. Okay? To achieve my work targets as a subordinate, I need proper direction, proper instruction. So, we should think that what each and every organization's first priority is to achieve the uh, objectives of the organization. As we know that objectives of organization is predetermined by the top level management. It may be increasing the total sales turnover or increasing the total profit, whatever it may be. To achieve this objectives, a manager needs to follow various methods mainly to motivate the subordinates by giving proper instruction, by giving proper uh, guidelines uh, as well as uh, by proper counseling, uh, leading, okay, as well as communicating, communicating with the subordinates suitably by understanding their needs and wants. That is very, very important. So, now what exactly directing is in the context of management of an organization? Directing is a process. Process means what? It is a continuous activity. Process means what? It is not a one day activity, it is a continuous activity. It is a process of instructing, guiding, counseling, motivating and leading the people in the organization to achieve its objective. As a superior, you need to instruct your subordinate what are the task has to be completed by the individual. You have to give a proper instruction. After that, you have to guide which is the best method to complete the given task like that. That is what guiding, counseling, motivating in the sense of by giving proper uh, like proper financial incentives or non-monetary rewards. Mo monetary rewards may be giving good uh, attractive salary or uh, some other fringe benefits and all. Other non-monetary motivating uh, uh, techniques are what? 
providing proper recognition or giving uh, promotion in the organization there may also some individuals may motivate to perform the uh, to perform better so motivating and leading see in the large organizations there are number of workers are there then all individual need to uh, work with the group with group then a manager or a superior need to lead the group effectively so all these functions comes under directing only so directing refers to the process of all these function all this function in the organization what the main purpose is to achieve the objectives clear right so the next concept is the features of directing directing initiate actions uh, in the meaning itself uh, i told that what directing initiate action where other functions of management prepare setting for the action but this directing function initiate action in the sense what a manager need to perform this function along with the other functions of management but uh, before that uh, uh, a manager need to define role to each individual for example mr a is a hr manager mr b is a uh, sales manager like this you have to define role as a manager you have to define role then only a individual can start his work so this directing function initiates action okay so other functions of management setting uh, for the action prepare setting for the action but this function initiate action in the organization for what to achieve the objective of the organization and the next concept next characteristics is directing is continuous process of course process means itself what process means it's a continuous activity so it is not a one day activity so as a as a superior you have to give order to your subordinate after that you have to monitor them whether they are working uh, properly or not then afterwards you have to analyze whether their work is in a proper way or not whether they are completing their task assigned task or not like that moreover the very important fact factor is what you have to give proper feedback about their work process okay about their working condition you have to give proper feedback if uh, um, if you are not able to give a proper feedback then some it, uh, needed changes may not take place in the uh, um, in performing the work so it is a continuous process as a manager you think that what you think that what i gave the task to each individual and they know how to complete their task no it results negatively so as a manager or as a superior you have to uh, monitor your sub, uh, subordinates on regular basis so it is continuous process and the next one is it takes place at every levels of the management of course wherever superior subordinate relationship is exist in the organization there this directing function will take the more important part say as a subordinate you cannot uh, see in the management if you are in the top level management or in the middle level management or uh, supervisor level management there superior need to monitor or need to instruct their subordinate so it takes place at each and every levels of management there is no restrictions to uh, say for example directing is only directing is a function takes place at or uh, takes place in only a uh, top level management no not like that it takes place at every levels of management wherever superior subordinate relationship is exist and the next one is what directing flows from top to bottom directing is a function of uh, it, uh, it is a process and it flows from top to bottom in the sense what being a superior only you can monitor or you can instruct your subordinate as a subordinate you cannot uh, instruct or you cannot give order to your superior okay so it flows from top to bottom top to bottom for by following the management hierarchy like 
board of director to other managers other managers to other superiors superiors to subordinate like that so it flows from top to bottom so directing initiates action directing is continuous process directing takes place at every levels of management and direct flows from top to bottom these all are the functions these all are the what features of directing